हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग द डेरीवेशन ऑफ आर ओ एफ ऑफ करेंट सीरीज फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर आर ओ एफ स्टैंड फॉर आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस विद फीडबैक ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डेरीवेशन ऑफ आर ओ एफ लेट इज क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ड्रॉ द ब्लॉक डाइग्राम इट्स इक्वीवेलेंट सर्किट ऑफ करेंट सीरीज फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर which we have already completed in our previous class for deriving RIF. RIF equation came to be as Ri times of 1 plus beta gm. For um, if you are asked to derive the ROF equation, you need to first draw all the block diagram and then do the derivation. So, for that I am just quickly revising the block diagram once again based on the name current series current means the first word tells about the output the second word tells about the input at the output side we do sampling at the input side we do mixing for a feedback amplifier what parameter is sampled at the output current so it's written as i not if current sampling is done how the feedback network is connected it's connected in series so the output connections are series at the input side the connections are series mixing is series mixing if series mixing is done what parameter is mixed voltage so we need to use a voltage source so output is i not and input is vi if you take the ratio of output by input output by input is what the ratio is gain what is uh, i not by vi it is gm you know ohm's law v is equal to ir so what is r equal to v by i resistance and i by v the reciprocal of this uh, ratio is known as transconductance g so the ratio of i not by vi is known as transconductance gm so for a current series feedback amplifier what is a basic amplifier to be used transconductance amplifier of gain gm so how do you know that uh, gm uh, transconductance amplifier used based on this name you have to decide so there is a transconductance amplifier of gain gm and a feedback network of ratio beta at the output side we have connected rl it's a current sampling current series na current sampling so current sampling means series net series connection the feedback network is connected in series at the output side and uh, series mixing how is the series mixing the feedback network is connected in series at the input side as it is series mixing voltage is to be voltage source is to be placed so at the input side we are having three resistor voltages vs vi and vf what is this vf feedback voltage what is this feedback voltage a part of output is sampled so how much is the what is the output mm, here i not so it will take a part of output so it will be beta times of i not the feedback voltage is how much beta times of i not now we need to draw the equivalent circuit of transconductance amplifier for the derivation so this is uh, the transconductance amplifier equivalent circuit which we have covered this in our previous video class you can refer there so this is a voltage source vs for a voltage source there is some negligible resistance of resistance value rs source resistor okay and this is ri across which the voltage vi is measured and there is a current ii flowing at the output circuit side gm vi transconductance with vi this much of current is flowing in the output circuit there is a resistor r not for a current there is a parallel resistor for voltage a series resistor is connected okay and there is a um, current i not flowing in the output circuit this is a load resistor rl this is equivalent circuit of the transconductance amplifier and we need a feedback network also to draw a current series feedback what is the function of this uh, feedback network it is gen it is supplying a feedback voltage to the input circuit okay so that is now shown in this diagram 
the other things are same V S R I only this V S V F what is plays that is a feedback network is connected at the input side. So, in the equivalent circuit of the transconductance amplifier, a feedback voltage is placed in the input side and other things are same in these two diagrams. What is V F? Beta times of output current. Okay, so, these diagrams we have already understood in a previous class, but you need to draw all these three diagrams once again when deriving for R O F. Okay, so, we have understood how to draw the block di equivalent circuit. Now, let us start the derivation of R O F. For deriving R O F, we need to do two arrangements. First, we need to make the input 0. Input 0, how can we make input 0? There was a voltage source. Input 0 means it has to be short circuited. So, we have short circuited this voltage source and there is a load resistor R L at the output side. So, this is removed um, and placed a voltage source which is delivering a current I to the circuit. This is a modification you need to do for deriving R O F of current series feedback amplifier. V S is 0, remove the R L, place voltage V. After doing these two arrangements, apply K C L at the output circuit. So, here there is a current G M V I entering here and I current is also entering, these two currents are entering. What is K C L current entering is equal to current leaving. So, these two currents G M V I and I are entering, so added and the how much current is leaving through this branch? V by R naught. What is Ohm's law? V is equal to I R. So, I is how much? V by R. So, how much is the voltage across this resistor? V, V by R naught. So, G M V I, I both are entering. How much current is leaving? V by R naught. So, current entering is equal to current leaving. Now, we can write the equation of I. I is equal to V by R naught minus taken the term to the other side minus G M V I. How much is V I? How much is V I? Now, write K V L at the input side. K V L at the input side, there are two voltages you are entering at the plus. So, V i, you are entering at plus V f, two voltages are there V i and V f, you are both um, entering at plus. So, V i plus V f is equal to 0. So, V i is equal to minus of V f. What is this V f doing? It is taking part of output current. So, V i is equal to minus of V f, how much is V f? Beta times of I naught. Okay, um, because V f was there, how much um, voltage it was taking? It was taking the part of output current, so beta times of I naught. Now, if you see that the current of I and I naught both are in opposite direction. Previously, the I naught was flowing towards R L, now it is flowing opposite. So, what is the relation between I and I naught? It is minus. So, we can write I naught is equal to minus because both are leaving the junction. So, I naught is equal to minus I previously before uh, this day, um, arrangement for R O F the I naught was flowing this way, but what is V F? It is beta times of I naught. Now, there is no I naught, but it has to be some relation with I, yes or no? Previously um, before finding R for R O F derivation, we have done the arrangement that V S is 0 and replaced R L. But what is V F here? It is beta times of I naught. It is already fed here. V F is beta times of I naught. But now there is no I naught. So, it has to come in relation with I. So, what is I naught equal to? It is minus of I. So, we can get the equation as V F is equal to beta times of I naught and I naught is equal to minus I. So, what is V i equal to? V i is equal to minus beta times of I naught. So, which is written as minus beta I naught is equal to minus I. So, it will come as V i is how much now? Beta times of I. So, we have to write this one V i is equal to beta times of I. Okay. Now, we are getting the term V by R naught minus G M beta I. 
so take the i terms together on the other side i plus g m beta i is equal to v by r naught take i common 1 plus beta g m is equal to v by r naught so what is v by i v by i is equal to r naught times of 1 plus beta g m what is v by i what is v by i it is r o f r o f is equal to v by i ok so what is the equation of r o f coming now r o f is equal to v by i is equal to 1 plus beta g m times of r naught ok this is the derivation of r o f ok so it is easy to remember also at the input side this is the current the first word is output current sampling what is the connection series series means the resistance increases at the second word is input series mixing so here also connections are series at the outputs are series so what will happen to the resistance increases so here at the output side we measure rof and at the input side we measure rif both are increased increased in the sense how to remember the equation of rif now r i f is equal to r i times of 1 plus beta g m it is r i times of multiplied by this factor so it is increased now coming to r o f r o f is equal to r naught times of 1 plus beta g m it is also increased so r i f is increased and r o f is also increased for current series feedback amplifier i hope you have understood the derivation if you have any queries you can post in the comment section thank you good luck students